Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an equation for real solutions. We have 2 to the power 1 minus 2x squared divided by 2 equals the square root of y squared plus 2. Now we're going to be finding the real solutions of this equation, but this equation is non-standard. Why? Because we have an exponential on the left-hand side and a radical on the right-hand side. We also have two variables, x and y, but we only have one equation and we're not looking for integer solutions. So this is a non-standard type of equation, so we need to use a non-standard method. And we're going to be using inequalities to solve this problem. Yes, you heard it right, we're going to use inequalities. So let's start with the fact that x squared cannot be negative, so x squared is always greater than or equal to zero. Now this implies if you subtract, and obviously if you double it, it's going to be the same way, now, if you negate it, negative 2x squared is going to be less than or equal to 0. If you add 1 to both sides, you're going to notice that 1 minus 2x squared is always less than or equal to 1. You could also verify this by thinking about if I subtract a non-negative quantity from 1, the result is always less than or equal to 1. Because if x is 0, it's 1. Otherwise, it's less than 1. So we now know that 1 minus 2x squared is less than or equal to 1. Let's go ahead and divide it by 2. And that's going to give us 1 minus 2x squared, the quantity 1 minus 2x squared divided by 2 is less than or equal to 1 half. Now, we have it as an exponent, so let's do 2 to the power of both sides. This means that 2 to the power 1 minus 2x squared over 2 is less than or equal to 2 to the power 1 half. And this is true because 2 is greater than 1, so if you have two powers, uh, one is greater than or equal to the other one, then when you raise them, uh, you know, 2 to the power of something, uh, the inequality will be preserved because 2 as a base is greater than 1. Okay. Now we have this inequality here, and 2 to the power 1 half, as you know, is equal to square root of 2. So this is basically the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the right-hand side and see what happens there, and we're going to uh, make a conclusion based on those. Now, we have this non-negative quantity again. y squared is always less, uh, greater or equal to 0. When you add 2 to it, obviously you're going to get something that is always greater than or equal to 2. And when you square root both sides, this is going to be true. Now y squared plus 2 is a positive quantity all the time, not even non-negative. It's positive, it can't be 0, so its square root is always defined. And it is greater than or equal to square root of 2. Now we have the following situation. We have an equation. The left-hand side is less than or equal to square root of 2, and the right-hand side is greater than or equal to square root of 2. And they're equal, so it's impossible that one is less than root 2 and the other one is greater than root 2, or otherwise, uh, you know, you can think about all these scenarios. The only possibility here is that they, they're both equal to square root of 2. So this implies, both of these results imply that, 2 to the power 1 minus 2x squared over 2 equals root 2 and square root and square root of y squared plus 2 equals square root of root 2. So both of them have to equal square root of 2. That way they can be equal. From here we get that 1 minus 2x squared over 2 is equal to 1 half because remember square root of 2 could be written as 2 to the power 1 half. So we can, you know, write it as an equation that way, forget about the 2's, forget about the 1's, this basically gives you x equals 0, okay? And from the other one, we get y squared plus 2 equals 2, if you square both sides, we get y squared equals 0, and from here, we get y equals 0. Therefore, 0 comma 0 is going to be the only ordered pair that satisfies our equation, and this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.